So dynamic wallpapers. Now they're basically wallpapers that change according to the time of day, exactly like the ones that we have on macOS. Now, real quick, I'm Samarth, I go by Sane, and I've been making Hyperland setups for intercontinental customers for just over a year now. They've all left 5 star reviews, so they must be happy with the setup I provided them. Anyway, here's what we're going to cover, okay? So, where to find dynamic wallpapers and how to set them up. So we have this one website called dynamicwallpaper.club where I found my wallpapers from. So as you scroll down over here, you will find out that dynamic wallpapers allow you to have different wallpapers depending on the time of day. So as you can see over here, this is the macOS Mojave wallpaper. And as I switch the slider over to the right, representing nighttime, as you can see here, the wallpaper is changing. And you also have 5k ones. And these are completely free. Right, so let's go to the gallery and check some out. There are a couple of anime style wallpapers as well, like this one, Tokyo Street, for example, or Japanese Garden. And as you keep scrolling, you'll find different wallpapers for different sorts of aesthetics. So we have Exodus, this one looks good. This one's Japan, right? You also have the AM PM thing. Like so. But yes, so here you can just pick out whichever wallpaper that you want. Okay, first thing. The best way for you to pick wallpapers here is to just go to this best section. Okay, and look for either the 5K ones if you want the highest quality, or you can also just hover over the image and see how many images there are. So some wallpapers, they are amazing in the sense that they have lots of images that you can cycle through. So for example, if I show you one over here, it's called Pittsburgh Skyline. Pittsburgh Skyline is the wallpaper name. Okay, this one. And this one, as you can see here, it shifts through wallpapers ever so slightly. And what happens because of that is you get a lot of images. So here, in this one specifically, we have 96 images, 96 images divided by, okay, so if I just show you the math, it'll be 1440, which is the total number of minutes in a day, divided by 96, which would mean that we would have a new wallpaper every 15 minutes. So this one would be extremely close to a realistic expectation of what you might experience with such dynamic wallpapers, right? Or you also have ones like this one. Like this one where there are probably just one or two. Okay, that is probably the best one, like this. Yeah, here you don't have that many wallpapers. You might have a maximum of five or six at best, right? And if you have a five or six, then that would just mean that 1440 divided by 6, so you'd change every 240 minutes. 240 divided by 60 would mean 4 hours, so the wallpaper would change every 4 hours. Like so. So, just pick any wallpaper from here that you like, download it, and you will get an HEIC file, okay? So, if I CD into pictures and LS, I have kept all of my wallpapers like so. So the one that I'm running right now is called Silly Walker and it has 17 images. This one's 5K, pretty high quality. So let me CD into that. And here you see a bunch of images, right? We have sillywalker.heic. This is the file that you're going to get. Now what we need to do is basically just extract this. So in order to extract it, how we go about that is install something like hive tools. Okay, basically we use the command hive convert I've convert sillywalker.heic and once you do that it should give you all these images that you're seeing over here from 1 through 17. You might have to add a different flag like disable limits for example yeah that one so I've convert I've convert sillywalker.heic dash dash disable limits in order to actually get it to convert properly. But yeah, 
that's what you have to do to get these images. Okay, now that we have these images, what script am I using in order to actually switch stuff up? I've created a script in dot local bin called dynamic wallpaper. Okay, and this is what it does. So here's the config of the wallpaper. Okay, here's a config directory. There's a number of images. So we take these two and we store them in variables. We get the hour and the minute like so. Okay, and this is something that I probably should have done earlier, but let me just show you how the wallpaper actually works. Right, so dynamic wallpaper dash dash test. If I change the time to something like 8 p.m., okay, it changes everything, and this is what 8 p.m. looks like. Okay, if I make it something like 23, almost midnight, this is what midnight would look like. Okay, if I make it something like 2 or 3 a.m. This is what that would look like. And if I just run dynamic wallpaper, and by the way, because I've set this up as a timer, which I'll show you how to do, even if I don't run this dynamic wallpaper command to restore the wallpaper, it'll just restore itself automatically every 15 minutes. Okay, so that. And let's close this. Let's see. So yeah, we covered where to find the dynamic wallpapers. Now we're covering how to set them up. Okay. So let's look at the script once again. So here, basically configuring the test mode, the, you're getting the total number of minutes since midnight over here. Now here, you're calculating the index of the wallpaper that's supposed to be used. Then here, we are clamping the index to a valid range so that the index doesn't go greater than the number of images. That would not work. Okay, now we're formatting the file name and we're creating, we're passing this img, this variable, into something called wallset backend. Now, I've made a video on this in the past and not just that, but I've covered it in extensive detail in my Hyper Accelerator paid program over here. So as you see here, we have a lot of modules. This is like eight and a half hours long, right? I've put in a lot of work into this and in this module over here in colors, I have covered which backend to use, PyWall or Matigen, and usage of Matigen to change system colors to match wallpaper. So as you saw over there, as I changed the wallpaper, everything else changed too. So that, basically, over here, I teach you everything you need to know about implementing a theme switcher like this into your own system, okay? But just to show you how it works, okay, so if I open dot local bin wall set backend, this is what it's doing. Basically, it's just calling Matigen with the image, okay, killing Weibo, restarting it, and there are a couple of other things that I do as well, like having this Rafi menu, for example where I can pick the wallpaper and have everything happen on its own without me having to type the command in. Okay, that, that's that. So if I go to .config systemd user, okay, you'll find that there are two service, there are two files, right? There's a, there's a timer and there is a service. So if I open the timer dot timer, it's basically just a timer that runs on boot five minutes after boot and runs every 15 minutes on an interval. This is a persistent timer, so it survives a reboot. Okay, pretty simple. Then we have the service as well, the system D service. And basically this service is just going to execute the script. Now in order to start this up, we need to use systemctl dash dash user, systemctl user daemon reexec. Okay, this is like a preparation command. Okay, you run that and then you'd also run enable dash dash now a silly walker wallpaper dot timer okay you need to put your timer file in here rename it to whatever you want and then just run it like this and so once you do that every 15 minutes the wallpaper should change if you want to know more about rising hyperland especially with all of the stuff that i've put into here as you can see there is quite a lot right a lot of modules we have like 10 modules and if you're an intellectual, which I'm pretty sure you are if you're watching one of these videos instead of just scrolling, right? Here's a bonus for you. 
applying mental models. So here in this video, in this bonus module for you, I cover what a mental model is, the general thinking models, right? Like inversion, map is not the territory, so on and so forth, and a whole lot more. Now this module alone is an hour long. I put in a week or two of solid work into this, so check it out, it might help you. And we also have the additional bonuses like the wallpapers, web our themes, so on and so forth. Of course, it's not fixed. I'm going to be adding more and more stuff to it, but yes. And that should be it. Goodbye.